Hello, my name is Terry White, Worldwide Design and Photography Evangelist for Adobe, and it's my pleasure to give you a first look at using Adobe Stock inside Adobe InDesign CC for 2015. Now, Adobe Stock is a royalty-free stock photography illustration uh, service that allows you to simply integrate your stock photography needs inside your CC applications. Let's take a look at how it works inside InDesign. So here I am in InDesign, I have a layout going here, and I, I need an image that deals with mountain climbing right here that I just don't have yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into my libraries panel, my CC libraries, and in CC libraries, there's a brand new Adobe stock icon that you'll find at the bottom of each of the library, CC library panels. So when I click it, it will take me to the website um, where I can do any of my searches for royalty free images. So for example, if I search for climbing or climb, I can say go and it will search for photos, illustrations and vectors. And now I can start to peruse my climb images. So let's see if I find one that I really like here for this preparing for the climb. That one's kind of cool. Actually, I kind of like this one. I'm not sure if it fits yet, but I kind of like it. So here's the best part. If I am happy with it, but not quite sure if I want to use it just yet, what I can do is say I want to um, save a preview of this, not to the desktop, but I actually want to sync it to my Adobe Stock library. So I've saved that preview, and that will be there waiting for me when I get back to InDesign. So let's see if there's another one. Ooh, see, and if you keep looking, you might find one you like even better. So same thing, I wanna save this preview to Adobe Stock, and we'll save it to my Adobe Stock library. And now that preview has been saved. So I haven't bought anything, I haven't used any of my um, um, purchased images or subscription images at this point. I'm just downloading previews. Once I'm happy with the one I want, then I can see it, I can go ahead and uh, license it. So let's head back to InDesign. And yep, as soon as I get back here, my uh, images are here waiting for me and ready to go. So for example, I kind of like this one. This was the last one we did. So I'm just going to drag it into my InDesign layout and place it into my frame. Now, once it's there, of course, since it's a preview image, it's low resolution. It has the Adobe Stock um, watermark on it. And it has the identification number for it in case I want to share this image with someone else and say, hey, go look up this one. This is the best one. Now, once I print this out, send it to my client, have them look at it, PDF it, whatever, or even share it via Creative Cloud, once they approve it and say, yes, that's the perfect image for this layout, now I want to actually license that image. I want to own own it royalty free and be able to use it in any of my designs going forward. So now all I have to do is head back over to the same library panel where the same preview exists and right click on it. When I right click on it, I get to license this image. Now, if you um, haven't signed up for a Adobe stock plan, then you would pay $9.99 to license that image royalty free from here on out. If you're on one of the plans, then the image will cost as little as $3 to license it from here on out. So whether you're subscribing to a, a, a stock plan or not, you can license this image directly from your CC applications. So I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and say license it. It's gonna say, yes, I'm gonna take this away from one of your accounts. In other words, if you had 10 images, you would now have nine because you just licensed this one. And what it's doing now is it's syncing the high resolution one, replacing that preview with the licensed royalty free one that I can use from here on out. Now, the, the best part is not only did it sync it to the library, but because we now support linked assets to the library, it updated the link here in InDesign. So no more royalty, no more um, watermarked image, no more serial number, no more low resolution. I'm looking at the actual photo that I can now use from here on out. So it was just that easy to place previews go find previews, have as many previews as I want. Then once I've settled on the actual image that I want to license, I can license it right there. I don't even have to go back to the website to do it. So that's how Adobe Stock works inside InDesign CC for 2015. You'll find the same features in Photoshop CC as well as uh, Illustrator CC for 2015 as well. 
So check out Adobe Stock. It's, a, it's the best, easiest way to purchase and license over 40 million royalty-free assets. Take care. I'll catch you on the next one. Uh-huh.